Hello there everyone and welcome back to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. MacArthur Lover. But we gotta talk about a couple focuses, talk about quite a few comments, and then get ready for uh, <clears throat> the war that'll happen now with the St Sisters of Steel. The last episode, the Sisters of Steel has already took out the Middle Mouths, but I reloaded the save, play a little bit more, and they haven't done their focus yet. To do that, before we start talking about our own focuses, with the Sisters of Steel focus, what they need to go down is do a real jawbreaker, which as you can see, they're not done yet. Which is actually really good for us, even though we're pretty much ready to go to war already, so. Um, other than that, we're just kind of waiting for them to finish, the AI to finish their stuff, so we'll be here for a while. First family investment. Sadly, the Brotherhood's occupation destroyed much of Missoula's leadership. They want to restore the pro town's prosperity. It might be best to encourage first families to help. Uh, Salvatore's Tiki Bar. Seems Salvatore wants to open yet another bar. This one is inspired by an old pre-war Hawaiian establishment. Although a silly idea helps to turn it into the anchor of a new market for the region. Who are we to stand in the way of progress? Expand the diam. Say what you will about the Brotherhood's levies, they did manage to restore the dam that once powered Great Falls. With superior American engineering, we can continue their work. Markham's plan. Markham hopes to use Steel Town to introduce some of Chicago's efficiency to the West. She's asked permission to run several workshops by algorithms and data, taking human bias out of the equation. Just like Chicago, in a way. Who can complain? Heavy weapons assistance. The Secretary gladly provides with more weapon assistance. It would come at a price, though. Surely we don't mind sacrificing for the great work? The light of civilization. Chicago will gladly provide energy weapons to assist our cause, so long as we contribute to their development as well. You know, rub our back, we'll rub your back, rub our back. Um, expand the Poseidon net links. Why worry about education for wastelanders when we can merely increase our ties to Chicago's network? Secretary of Interior knows everything people need to know about. And subsidize the tellurium lines. Tellurium is one of the rarest, or Earth's rarest metals, but invaluable for complex metallurgy. By loading the first families of equipment, they can expand their mining operations supplies with the precious metal. Harness, uh, the Bozeman Hot Springs. Heaven's Gate thinks geothermal energy is a stuff of miracles, but it's nothing but American ingenuity. Martha Santiago will gladly provide heat light to the refugees in town. Now, I've read that one before, but we've got to go through some comments as, uh... I'm just going to wait for things to happen. I did say I want to take a high chapel. It'd be really bad if someone were to go to war with us as we are getting ready to go to war with high chapel ourselves, but... Some comments... Ooh. Oh, wait, what? Hold on. High chapel. Is this a new focus tree? No. Our, our origins, new gods. This is, what, this is a focus tree for Utah, so... Uh, comments include... There's a decision in Eureka, should I decide to play it, uh, to create the first granite company and after that, the Navarro Enclave. So yeah, I definitely will play as Eureka eventually, because I know several of you guys want me to play it already. Sounds very cool. Someone says, uh, I think the reason this path, the MacArthur path, is not finished yet is because the story is supposed to continue in Illinois, with the Chicago Enclave, so we'll get there eventually someday. Someone else says, apparently TV Town is interesting with its own focus tree, which I don't think TV Town exists. Yeah, they were taken out by the Vipers, huh? Um, <clears throat> I did ask you guys yesterday what our name should be um, with the intelligence agency, but we'll see about that in a, a little bit. So, um, someone else says, "God bless the enclave." God bless America. Someone else says, "Long live the Union, boys! Long live the enclave!" So, you're planning to unite the entire North America as NCR or enclave or other warlords? Well, we'll see. We'll see how far we get. You know, not every campaign needs to be waste, full waste on conquest, and I've done those in a while, but that takes a lot out of me. Um, so. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, play Kaiser, Kaiser Redux, George Lincoln Rockwell. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Uh, someone says, do you f have any plans to finish your old World Blues Arizona playthrough or do a TNO Toolbox Theory Bennett run? Uh, I've not, no, not thought about that. Toolbox Theory t Bennett? Sounds like fun. Um, yeah, I'll go back to Arizona probably eventually. We'll see. Um, just because that basically, at the time it's recording. Okay, so I did the Arizona run um, before 4.0 for Old World Blues came out. So now that 4.0s came out, that save is basically broken, and I have to basically replay all of it, so we'll see. We'll get maybe there eventually. Someone says, it's a pity it's only the 4.0 update. That's true. Uh, someone else says, hello, coffee lovers. Yes, absolutely. Um, someone else says, despite the economic downturn, I'm so happy. Oh, well, this is probably a spam bot. So, uh, let's see. Someone says, I'd like to play this game, but now the writing is too small. But you can always change the text adding, maybe, perhaps later? Maybe, maybe not? I don't know. Um, someone else asks, do you know the connection between Oswald Mosley and George Orwell or 1984? So... Cool. But yeah, uh, we'll be going to war hopefully soon with High Chapel, and hopefully as well as the Sisters of Steel. And here we are at Rebellion. We're currently doing heavy weapon assistance. We've already gone to war with High Chapel. Casualties, not too bad. Not overbearing. I'm only using the power armor for now. Um, we're just, we're basically just launching an attack. Um, the goal is to wrap up these guys in the High Chapel area so that, because, well, the uh, Sisters of Steel are getting a little uppity now. So we'll definitely have to see what's going to happen here. In the meantime, um... Hmm. Interesting. Half of you guys are going to go here, and then uh, another half of you guys are going to go here, too. Help hold the line if 
fit all possible, of course. Uh, get them ready, of course. Get them speckled, speckled, ready to go. So, uh, but yeah, let's see. As long as we can move quickly enough through here, we shouldn't have too many issues. But you never know. Yeah, good. Go in there. Go, 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 go. Before they get in there. Oh, at least we got rid of one division there. Also, we're moving through here too, which is good, good, good. It's going to take a little bit of time, that's all. Um, you two, in the meantime, go, go through this way. Go through this way. And then those guys will, of course, steal. Sisters will steal. Well, go to war with us eventually, so go and get a lot of organization first, you guys. Uh, let's see. As soon as we start seeing that someone's just flying on us, we'll do some stuff there. That'll be fine. Thank you. And where are we at? Yeah, we got two. Simulation? Sure. Why not? Uh, well, there was one comment from somebody saying, actually, a direct comment for, to me, uh, was asking. Call it veterans. We lose a little bit of stability. Yeah, call it non essential. Non essential staff or whatever. Um, how did I? How was I able to like make divisions, edit divisions, and stuff like that? Well, I I honestly have no idea because I did see that on some of the Reddit and just discussions that people have are struggling trying to get or able to make divisions, edit divisions. I'll be honest, I started this and I left my Steam account in offline mode. I have no idea why it works for me. It's for, it doesn't work for some people. So, Apolog I apologize that I can't really figure out what's wrong with you know, everyone else's accounts, but for me, it, it works fine. There's, there's, I've literally had no issues doing this. Of course, it's got with simple, some simple mistakes, but, you know, gameplay-wise, I have no idea why it works and for some people it doesn't, so. It is what it is, I guess. So, Happy weapons assistance. Get a little more manpower. Be nice. Get some of this stuff. Um, give a crap ton more plans because my god, we're gonna need them. Yeah, but Daniel Carter, pretty soon we do have Sergeant Granny here. Uh, we can make more power armor divisions. I'd rather use him for everything else. So don't add specials, loser. SC, inspirational. So uh, Sergeant Granny is an inspirational guy. Ah. You go there and you do that. You can circle another division. Kill them off. That'd be very nice. Um, of course, some of these territories I did have to core, as I did say in the last video, just because we're kind of forced to. Um, just because the way it's been set up so far. Because uh, it can't pass by any places in the end, because they're not touching cores, and they have to touch cores. And pacifying is not coring, so. But like I said in the last video, you know, make sure that we're all on the same page, hopefully. Hopefully. You take this group out, you can circle these guys up here potentially as well. And that'd be real nice. But we'll see if that actually happens. They're just militia. They should not last much longer. Really shouldn't. 7,000. We've lost 10. We lose way more guys to just pacifying the area than anything else. Help them out. Clear them out. Very nice, very nice. Good. Hello to MacArthur, of course we were this last time. If you want to do this one, please go right ahead. Uh, you guys stop trying to eat. 20 divisions should be, in theory, good enough to hold out here. We do have one place that has two tiles. Fair agreement. Um, one more day, so I want to wait up until the very last. We should have these guys done. Meadowopolis. Soon, very, very soon, actually. Five days, four days, nine thousand, almost ten thousand have died here. Obviously, not nearly enough, but whatever. Ah, we did get him. All right, tactics, no, but he's level five, which is really good. Uh, why don't you come here? Just help, like. Mm. Come to the center and just destroy them when we can. Give them about a day head start and then let's save because now we have no manpower as we're mobilizing more men. And never surrender to any opposition. Now, would you guys be able to force your way out? No, because you have. N oh, I think it's worth it. Um, no way of doing that. So, all I want you guys to do is hold the line. The longer they take to, oh, well, come to war, but whatever. Because I just want the power armor to push. That's the main thing. Power armor, please push. Of course, we can do Mason Salvatore, but I want to save some of our political power first, because it's going to cost them to pass by the area. 
Oh, no, wrong, not bad. Oh, god dang it, dude. There you go, they won't get away with us too, it's fine. Ah, well, they want war. They can have war. We're gonna, we're gonna cut, cut up this way and then encircle and destroy everything up here first and then focus more down here. That's a goal. Resistance so far is looking alright. It's not going up here. Kinda sucks. But it was good to get another slot. Another, um, not slot. Trade node. Trade nodes are very valuable to have. You come up here. Very nice. Losses, 47 versus 1,000. So far, not bad. 700 granite. Not great in defense, but you know what? I'd rather have them than not have them. Ship them to Chicago. Trade wise, resource wise, it's looking good. Oh, go and do that there. That'd be beautiful. Oh, Eureka. Oh, oh, poor Eureka. Oh, Royo. I want to play the Royo again. Oh, Chitza. Oh, Royal does have a unique focus tree. Okay, because it was back in the day, like back in like a couple years ago. For Old World Blues, it was a sub mod for Arroyo. And they, uh. That was really fun. I love that campaign. That was so much fun. I play these guys again sometime, because I struggled the first time I played that. Remember, I played as a Mylurx, and I played at the same time apparently as, uh. Provis Gaming. I didn't even know who Provis was at the time. And for some reason, I was like, whoa, why do I have 10,000 views on this video? Oh, thank you, Provis. Which I don't know if he's played Old World Blues yet at the time of this recording, but you know what? I've never collaborated with Provis. I think it'd be really cool. But I don't think he knows I exist. He makes really good thumbnails. I wonder if he does his own thumbnails. He probably does by now. Sam. Oh, Sam Fran chapter. Demand. Tri no. Do you, do you not know who we are? Alex Rambo knows who I am. I remember that. I made. I played the Alex Rambo mod um, at 1.2. And that was a lot of fun. And he actually commented on one of my videos playing his mod, or a mod about him. God, that was cool. The town's running, I think he's taking a break though. Oh, and we're done with uh, our land auction. Purity all the way. We are a pure people, even though some of these focuses don't make any sense. The way they're red for purity, whatever. You know. You don't need to go there, you just go there. There you go. Machine is just the top, it's fine. Can we actually capitulate them? At this point, I don't want to get you guys involved, but I'm going to because they actually have planes over there too. And we're doing a very good amount of damage. Even though we'll take a little more losses, that's okay. Just go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I keep forgetting that we, you don't want to spend army XP like that. You want to do it to upgrade your like land doctrine and stuff like that too. Uh. I think we're done with this. I only did that so because we need more divisions on the front line. Nice. Beautiful. Complete as it should be. Um, we'll keep doing this for now. But you guys. Keep doing a great job there. If you guys can. Everyone's going to start pushing. Because these divisions are okay. Do we need demo teams? We'll give you some demo teams. Um, other than that, anti-tank might probably honestly be worth it. I mean, what else are we going to spend it on? Call up non-essential staff. Hey, everyone's essential, in my opinion. Well, that's a lie. Uh, let's see, so we got to wait for um, compliance up here. It's fine. These guys are cutoffs anyway, so. Help them out. Put them out of the misery. Where you guys at? Taking a while, get over it, and that's fine. You know, happens. I might actually delete some of these divisions. So we get this one done. We did not patronize historians, you know, since historians fled MacArthur, they found a welcome role in the ranks. Perhaps it's time to give them even greater support, knowing our past never harmed anybody. <clears throat> the fate of traitors. The brothers descended from scum who abandoned their people in the hour of need. Fortune is well established that whoever owing allegiance to the United States levies war against them or adheres to their enemies, giving them aid and comfort within the U.S. or elsewhere is guilty of treason and shall suffer death. God, if we still did that nowadays. My goodness, there'd be a lot of deaf people. Anyways, um, hmm. at this point, here, I think we can do it just have one front line. There you go.
good. So casualties, 400, not great, but we did kill 8,000, 9,000 of them. No longer mobilizing, which does suck, but pacifying the air is going to be extremely crucial for our needs. Let's go to Fairview. Can't even convert. Dang it. It would help if you just cut them off. Talking about divisions or talking about arms? What are we talking about here? There we go. Yeah. Makes it easier for everybody. If you just kill your enemies, it makes it easier. As long as you can kill them, you know. They're rating artillery. Eight st nah, that stuff's all okay. Honestly, I, I don't mind maybe the American Dream. Oh, as part of our effort to rebel, we can now core territory. Oh, this one used pacification. Okay. My dream is a, a palace in time where America will once again be seen as the last past hope on Earth. Well, I'm going to be playing this again. Can we try that? No, we can't do that. That's, that's, I know. Waste on scouts for some auxiliaries. Well, we'll see. Uh, sure, why not? Desperately trying to hold on to their territory. And they're trying. I'll give them that. Expand the band. Oh, damn, yeah, we read that one as well. Of course, we didn't do the Montana Patriot. It was established in 2045 to explain to the Northern Com Commonwealth why the Enclave was there to help, and serves as a valuable role given the truth straight from the Colonel's office. But with further funding, we could expand our hard-hitting exposés on the atrocities of the cultists and raiders outside our lands. Yeah, good. Oh, we're, we're, I forgot about these guys, too. My bad. Ruminator, it doesn't really matter. 10,000 sisters died. Sweet. Um, honestly, opening all these states is probably a better idea, but, oh well. MacArthur needs territory. God, we have no manpower. Well, we will have to pass by everything. Um, you. Train, train, go rooted. For defense. Cool. Let's see. Loot the Brotherhood stockpiles. That's gonna look fun. Send salvage to Chicago. Well, even though I like this one, I think we'll send salvage to Chicago. Secretary of the Interior and our fighting men and women will appreciate anything we can provide about the Brotherhood. Why not share with them? Um, refugee machine shops. Many of those will be free from the Brotherhood picked up some useful skills working for the Brotherhood and give them their old equipment to work in the Great Falls. Uh, Great Falls University. Ooh. Although Montana centers of higher learning did not survive the Great War, the Brotherhood facilities given gives a chance to start something of value in the Great Falls. And surely no harm will come from concentrating the most educated people in the state in one location. Our colleague. Not all the research from the big rig was lost. The Secretary of the Interior sent a message or sent a soldier modified based on the research used on Frank Hurrigan, the engineer for America's enemies. Sounds like fun. A little help from my friends. The Secretary's charming smile looked down at the Colonel who stood at the tension as always. Ready now, really now, Colonel, always up to I please. A special agent is uh, not intended to be a sign of disrespect. On the contrary, he is a fine soldier in decades, a pinnacle of enclave science. Oh, man, that no one would doubt. And we're sitting near the battalion with them, of course. Think of it as a sign of your faith in you, really, with Special Agent Johnson. Think It'll be as if I'm right by your side forever. God bless the enclave. Special Agent Johnson becomes a unit leader. Our summer ruler, dispatch two. 31st Peoria, once again. I mean, as much as I love these divisions, and I don't want to get rid of them. Oops. I don't know. They're not as good as these ones. And I did delete like half of the infantry just because we don't really need them. Uh, bring me men to my mountains. If I fill the direction of the Secretary of the Interior, we need heroes. Men with empires in their purpose. And new eras in their brains. Uh, men to tame their tigerish instincts to their lair and cave and den. In the army of the Enclave, the resources of the Northern Commonwealth could turn the tide on the heartland and give the Enclave a chance to crush brotherhood once and for all. But alas, too few Americans are left to satisfy every front nowadays. Martha Santiago's demands call for new sacrifices from everybody in MacArthur, and there are three proposals to meet the Secretary's orders. The easy solution would be to appeal to Chicago for further assistance. In exchange for accelerating resource extraction in the North, we could also work with the First Families in the rest of the re region's elite and rely upon their involvement. Although these would not be as powerful as the United States Army, they could supplement our ranks in additional battalions. Finally, we could recruit the refugees and wastelanders, open the doors for widespread recruitment. Now, as much as I want American Dream, Western Scouts is not terrible, but it gives 55% more non-core manpower, even though that's not a huge amount as well. Call, job calls for professionals, trust families, and marshals, which I do like. Every man who can carry a rifle is welcome to one. As much as I want to do that one, we're going to go with this job. Call is full of professionals, so. 
Uh, can't do this one now. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, we're doing the fate of traitors as we did read earlier to talk about the mission. And we'll do send salvage to Chicago as well. Uh, oh, broken masks. Fighting men and women would appreciate anything we could provide about the Brotherhood. Why not share with them? As well as Steel Town. Under the Enclave's rule. Um, Great Falls is turned from a Brotherhood of Steel work camp into a thriving hub of commerce. The nickname Steel Town reflects not just its origin, but its new hub as a heart of MacArthur's economy. Fate of Traitors, the mission. As the screen flickered alive, the Colonel wondered once again why the Secretary appeared like this, but she said nothing as a man spoke. So he ground the rebels under heel at last, and he chuckled. They say a chain is only as strong as its weakest link. So of course those mutants broke under American heroism. Nevertheless, you are to be congratulated, Colonel, or should I say Brigadier General? But the Brotherhood was there for a reason. I'm sure you can guess why, as our old struggle in the heartland heats up. We need you, Brigadier. We need the Northern Commonwealth. The terminal set up next to the Brigadier flickered. I'm afraid your charge will need to contribute a bit more to the reconstruction. The screen flickered off with a neon light of Chicago replaced by a single message, God bless the Enclave, and God bless America. Ooh, more power, more attack, and speed. Ooh, and even more attack. Uh, you lose five energy metal going forward, whatever. Uh, MacArthur Detachment, we know it's the MacArthur Detachment. Steel Town, like we read earlier. Local self-defense. I think we go with the Wings of Liberty. Without help from Chicago, we'd never command the skies over the north. How grateful must the poor wastelanders we protect for their guidance. And liberate Havre. The people of Havre chafe under an unjust oligarchic government to which it leaves them prey to raiders. We must go forth and free them. Alright everyone, so apparently, uh, Stanley Rock has decided to go to war with us. I didn't have anything influenced with this at all, but uh, yeah. We had to finish up pretty much everything here, but liberate Havre, which we can't really do either, but whatever. Um, Army XP you say, huh? All right, infantry, uh, do that one first. 40, special forces are more of what I'm more interested in anyway, so that's fine, um, yeah, overall, not bad. Doing a little bit, 50 some damage, anywhere between six-ish to 50 some damage, not bad. Now they wanna kill themselves on the line, that's fine with me, they've already lost 7,000, so. Standing Rock, seems like a fun nation to try out sometime. 34,000 manpower, 80, 80 factories, not bad. And this is the only border we have, so. Yeah, overall, not too shabby. Plenty of political power. Go and assimilate a little more if you can. I'm trying to get more non-core, some more core population. We have 134,000, which is available core, which is not bad. Of course, we did use some cons commands for that, just because I didn't realize the whole pacification system, how it worked and stuff like that. So, it is what it is, but, you know, whatever. Uh, 7,000 losses, is that it? Let time go on. We'll, we'll be fine with them. Uh, in addition, let's learn about them. You can always learn a little bit more about other people, whether we want to or not. Propaganda efforts, procurement of things, battle caps, economy. Eh, don't really need it. Very nice. Yeah, just let them kill themselves on the line. That's all it takes. Town's foundries. We got almost everything here researched. <coughs> Um, yeah, not bad. Cheap, easy way to do it, so. Um, unfortunately, I wish you guys had actual recon, just because through, you know, through the land auction, but we didn't choose that way for this time. What do we want here? Robotics would be nice, but it would make no sense. <laughs> spec Ops, we're not Spec Ops. Uh, you know what, what, you know something I've never really done before? Ninja. Leader skill bonuses, I'm not sure that's really beneficial. Let me know. Do you guys use Ninja? Do you guys not? Because I usually don't ever use it, but you know, I'm open to trying it out. You know, you never know. 13, 29. I mean, we were building up quite a few uh, air bases up here anyways, but you know, whatever. Also, apparently trying to build up a supply base, but it doesn't really look like it's hurting us that badly. Of course, when we start attacking, casualties will go way up. But we're getting there. Uh, since we're close to the end anyways. Two timing dealer, Mason Salvatore. Why not? America Dream, can't quite do that one. And we'll go with Lock Reed, because we can. And APC Steam Tanks. And speed, 25%. I like speed. 11,000. They should be getting close to running out of manpower. Ooh. Some of guys are really close. Getting defeated. Steal some technology. Actually, do we have the cryptology done for these guys? We don't. Oh, you know what? As soon as that's done, we'll go to war with them. How's Legion? How, what's going on down here? Oh! Whoa! Legion's doing very well. It's a very bright purple Legion. Well, good luck, Volpus. Alright, and that's all the focuses we have for MacArthur. Which is fine, you know, whatever. White Leg's looking pretty thick. Of course, they're part of the Legion as well, so that's a very pink. Not pink, but 
Purple Legion. Do they have the Veil Bandits? Ente del Sol is actually down there. Okay. Cool. Well, Cryptology almost done. Almost done. It's hard as you can't even tell if it, they're done or not. They lost 12,000 men now. Which means they should be less than 1,000 manpower left. Close ish, yeah. Good. Of course, depending over the river is always very nice too. Come on. Come on. And over here, we'll go do this as well. Special Forces organization, because I'm very biased for Special Forces. Come on. There we go. That's going the offensive. And I want you to terminate with extreme prejudice. Extreme prejudice. If it be any more prejudice, please be more prejudiced. Just more Cass. All for the Special Forces. Nice. 700 lost from us, 14,000 from them. That's not bad. Been wounded, so be it. You guys go in here. <coughs> Circle them. Kill them. Good stuff. Hmm. They want to fight back, huh? 56 divisions in total. It's still quite the fog of war. It's alright. Continue moving in. We lose a lot of manpower, but that's okay. Simulation? Sure, why not? Core population 136. Not much more, but you know, I'll take every little bit we can get. Uh, we ended with this person level 5, 6, 4, 4. Ah, overall, not bad. It just takes a while to conquer this entire nation. Just takes a while. Did they raise up the conscription level? No, they still have a little bit of manpower left, but it's maybe going up a little bit, actually. Not enough cast damage, though. Probably need more range. I mean, I did delete half the army. Or a third of the army. Roughly the third of the army. They're still attacking us. Huh. Come on, Daniel Carter, keep going. Look at the shack markets. Is it still going? No. It's fine. Nice. Keep it up. Keep up all that damage. Hey, the turn trumpet. Vehicle technology. Not bad. Russian chambers. Go and grab this one, too, because he can. Plus 8% more army XP. New Vegas' is downfall. I didn't think they'd last very long because, well, the Legion is very strong. I'm not sure what it is in your experience, but so far it seems like the Legion does very, very well in the campaigns now. And again, that might just be my experience. My limited experience at the time of this recording. Hmm, go there, if you can circle them and kill them all, that'd be great. Nice. Test the cannons? Why not? White horse, boy, goodness, it does take a while to get down there. We have destroyed two divisions, though, and they are out of manpower. There's just rocket systems. Ooh, supplies not very good down here, now is it? There is supply points. A rosette, huh? Uh -uh. That's going to be a little bit of an issue, isn't it? Keep going, keep going. I mean, they're at what? 54 divisions. If we capture the capital, that might be the end of it. So we'll see. That way. Actually, go right there. Could encircle that division. Maybe move fast enough, of course. But that's pretty much for anything. <coughs> Come on. Hey! Look at that. Now that's pretty. It's pretty good. 
White horse? Sounds familiar. Where are we at? Super close. Let's get down here. Do not let them get encircled. Or if they do get encircled, you just encircle them back and kill them all off. While we're trying to get all the VPs, of course, as well. Come on. 22,000 died. Is that not enough for you? Come on. Good. Even more pressure on them. Good. That should be it. Honestly, if you take the capital at this point, it, that should be it. There should be nothing else. Rapid City. Have I been to Rapid City? I might have been. I actually might have been to Rapid City. Yeah, I think I have been to Rapid City. Yeah, go figure. Cornfields. Come on in. Is that it? Come on. Yeah, these VPs kind of suck. Not gonna lie, they actually suck quite a bit. They suck a lot, actually. This sucks. This is stupid. Yeah, this definitely needs a rework. At least a look at. Because this is not fun. This is not fun. All these waterways... Oh, God. I don't want to bring this up again, but Jesus Christ, these waterways, El Succo. They are one of... One of the devs, but one of the worst things... Or worst additions to the game, man. Waterways... Ask ISP, man. Even he doesn't like waterways here. The VPs here? I don't know. It's just, after you conquer this much territory, they should, they sh let you capitulate. You shouldn't need to get Gettysburg. This is a bit too much. It's a bit too much. They're not this strong. Especially once we kill off 25,000, literally 25,000 of them. So, I don't know. I'm going to disagree with the devs here. Department. Great race, pretty normal. Now you're going to go. To, you're going to go to flipping Gettysburg. And there we have it, everybody. Just took a little bit longer, but this mm, I can't agree with this one. After you take all this territory, that should pretty much be it. But you know what? That's just my my opinion. Because you know, you break through all the way through here. You kill off twenty five to thirty thousand people, and it's still not enough. Hmm, I don't know. But anyways, if you enjoyed the campaign, regardless, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great, great rest of your day.